Hello YouTuber Reservoir Warrior you're here. You're hearing Gundam verses in the background because I took a break to um, do this video. Which I should have done probably last week, but that's alright. Try to get to 50,000 GP. Or is it 300,000? No, it's 50,000 GP. Just so I can get a new navigator. It's a pain in the butt, honestly. Because I'm terrible at this game and the best way to get uh, GP is online. Uh, hopefully I'll get better eventually, but anyway, so that's just going to keep playing in the background. Anyway, uh, this is going to be the manga haul for August slash September, because I don't think I did a video in August, and that's because I didn't buy any manga. And I mean, this month, I think I have nine volumes. Okay, no, technically ten volumes for uh, this video, except one of them I seemed to misplaced, and that was... Uh, Kokoro Connect Volume 2. I know about that, I just don't know where. And what? And then I also have something awesome that I got in the mail to show you guys. That I guess you can consider anime related. <laughs> anyway, so we'll start off with uh, Volume 3 of uh, Psychopaths Inspector Shinya Kagami. Still haven't read Volume 2 yet, but... I had to get this, obviously. Since Psychopaths is one of my favorite animes. I have a lot of catching up to do. Not just with that, but a bunch of other reading. Especially with, uh, Inspector. Anyway, um, speaking of Gundam, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing 2. Alright. <laughs> the two there threw me off, my bad. Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Endless Waltz Glory of the Losers, Volume 2. I think I got this a day earlier than it was supposed to come out, which is pretty cool. I actually bought this before I went to a friend's birthday party. And what else? Do, oh, and I bought him volume one of Ace Attorney and One Punch Man. And then I have both volumes one and two of Arc V. I never watch Arc V and I usually never buy the mangas, but the promos. <laughs> the promos are why I buy these. Especially volume two. Volume two has a good promo that I actually use in my Trickstar Wind Witch deck. But I am taking a break for, well, I was kind of forced to take a break from the game, so. I mean, my friend has my deck now, but it's okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry, there's 11. 11. There's another manga that's in my backpack. That's not in this video. But we have uh, volume 23 in Isekoi. With uh, Best Girl on the, on the front of the cover. <laughs> but... Oh, and she's on the back, too. Awesome. Can't wait to read that. I think we only have another volume volume or two to go, sadly. And then I have to figure out uh, what's the next big manga I'm going to uh, purchase. I mean, Akamiga Kill is getting there. We're getting volume 12, but I don't think that's going to have too many more. The other longer manga series that I've read is Subasa Reservoir Chronicle for obvious reasons. I don't own all the volumes, I only have 1 through 6, but I have read all the volumes. Same with Attack on Titan, except I haven't read 21 or 22 yet, which I probably should, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe Soul Eater. I think that might be my next big um, manga read, since it is a lot... Well, that and Rosaria Vampire are different than the animes, and I know... Uh, some characters are better in the manga than they are in the anime. Plus, with Rosario Vamp Vampire, it's less etchy and more action, which is good. Oh, and then there's Assassination Classroom, too. Gotta buy more of those. That, that, that and Soul Eater is probably what you will see more frequently after Nisako is gone. Anyway, uh, this was recommended to me from a friend. Uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. He told me uh, what it's about. I'm like, okay, this is... Definitely going to be a hilarious read. I'm going to pick it up. This came out in August, which I had no clue. Even though I bought it last month. And, um... Volume 2 comes out this month, so... Can't wait to read that. Should be funny. Should be good read. And then we have Volume 4 of Mobile Suit Gundam... Uh, Mobile Suit Gunderbolt. <laughs> Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. They actually do have two Gundams from Thunderbolt in Gundam Versus. I find their lack of Seed Destiny and other sequels and second seasons disturbing. I guess that's going to be DLC, which is unfortunate, but oh well. I mean, you still have a nice cast of characters in there anyway. 
Especially if you like Unicorn and Seed. They they have a lot of Gundams from that. Except not a lot of the female pilots from Seed. I don't, I don't know why. Personally, I've been using Xe a lot. I got him... Uh, or a him. <laughs> well, the pilot's a him, but not the Gundam. I got that Gundam to level 20 fairly quickly, actually. And right now, I'm using Gundam Kyrios. The only downside of Kyrios is you don't really have a ranged weapon. But it does fit my playstyle pretty well. Anyway, I've read one. I'm almost done with two. I haven't read volume three yet. And like I said, the one of the manga volumes that you don't see here that I did purchase is Kokoro Connect Volume 2. I just don't know what happened to it. And then I have Volume 1 of Persona 3 in my backpack. And I also did pick up Volume 2. For some reason, I cannot find Volume 1 of Persona 4. I could have bought that months ago, I just never did. Because I remember watching the anime, I'm like, whoa, this is going way too fast. I don't like it. I'm like, I hope the manga isn't the same. And I think the manga is very similar to the anime. But I want to buy it anyway since I love Persona. And I got Persona 5 a couple months ago. I'm on the Pyramid uh, Palace. So I'll give you an idea of how far I am in the game. I almost have 40 hours in it already, which is crazy. But Persona 3 is the one I really don't know much about. I know I've watched couple episodes of someone let's playing it i forget which youtuber but i figured it might be fun to read this and then finally we have th this took me such a long time to get i don't know why barnes and noble behind my house just doesn't get inspector volumes anymore they only have one through four they didn't have five they didn't have six either and then another Barnes & Noble that's not too far away from me also did not have Volume 6 or 5, I think. So I had to go uh, to one in a mall in New York. I don't live too far from New York State, so it was about like a 25-minute drive. But I finally did get Volume 6 of Inspector, and this one... This one's a lot thicker than other volumes, like... I'll get Volume 1, since it's over here. Like, this is Volume 1, and I'm surprised this volume is in really good shape. My Volume 3 is kind of not in the greatest shape since it's been in my backpack, but this is Volume 1. You guys know I reviewed this, all thanks to a viewer, actually. I'm glad the viewer asked me to pick up this uh, manga because it's becoming one of my favorite manga series, and I hope it eventually does get an anime. But yeah. There's Volume 1, there's Volume 6. And that made me worried. I'm like, oh no, is this the last volume or something? But it didn't say it was. But then when I looked at the end, I didn't read it yet, but I just wanted to see like the extras at the end they always put. And it's like, oh yeah, next volume is going to be the sequel. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, six volumes in, we're getting a sequel? I mean, by sequel, do you mean season 2 per se? Or like, actual sequel? Blew my mind. <laughs> That'd be cool, though. I guess if we were to have an anime, I guess season one would be 12 or more episodes, but not 24. Unless they just cram it all into a 24 or more episode series. I don't know. But hopefully this does get an uh, anime adaptation eventually. But, um... I guess this is the um, volume where they finally defeat Steel Lady. I mean, I'm going through uh, volume 3 right now. And yes, uh, I will be reviewing all the volumes. I did lose a notebook. I did misplace a notebook where I had notes for volume 2. So as soon as I find that, I can review volume 2. And then volume 3, uh, once I... F Basically what I'm going to do, and this is like for the future with any of my manga reviews. I hope I can find the file for my volume 1 manga review of Akami Got Kills Zero because that's another uh, series I want to do a review on. Or review all the volumes of, um, what should we call it? Probably it's, what I'm definitely going to do is after I read a chapter of a volume, jot down notes about that chapter, continue on with the next chapter... 
do the same process that way it's easier for me to review and that way I don't have to go back through the volume so many times to jot down notes and whatnot anyway now for the uh, package we got a shirt and we got a uh, EP audio CD signed so here's the shirt Oh, I can't wait to see the side EP. Just want to get that out of the way. We'll get to that later. Here's the shirt. This is going to be an awesome shirt to wear. Funny funny shirt to wear, actually. But, uh, don't worry, my floor's clean. <laughs> There's the shirt. Love this Amanda Lee shirt. And then her channel name, of course, is uh, Lee and Lee. Had to get this shirt. I liked it more than the other. Looked awesome. All the water and whatnot. I like how she has a water gun in this. I guess we could say a water cannon. That's pretty cool. And then here is the uh, uh, EP. And then, oh wow, the CD is autographed. That's really cool. I kind of don't actually want to put this CD in like my car or anything. I of course did buy the uh, EP on iTunes on the day of on the uh, release day because I'm like I don't want to wait for my signed copy to come in the mail. I want to listen to it now. And it's great. Definitely uh, recommend you guys checking it out. Her covers are awesome, and uh, that's really cool. I didn't expect the CD to uh, be signed. I thought it would be. Either the front or the inside here to be signed. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I mean, that's awesome. Like I said, well, this is probably going to stay in my... I wouldn't say CD collection, but... Um, I don't know, i got to think of a way to... Uh, I guess make sure that doesn't get damaged or anything. Because I would like to keep even the sleeve it's in. Or case, I should say. Uh, what should we call it? Protected. But that's awesome. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. I know this one's a little longer, despite me not having as many volumes as uh, previous months. Uh, but, you know, even though I am taking a break from uh, trading card games because I gotta focus on schoolwork, it doesn't mean... Uh, I'm not going to take a hiatus from the... I'm not going to take another hiatus. I should be able to pump out more uh, anime-related videos now, which I feel like I'm a broken record saying that because I've been saying it for how long? But now I can because I can focus on that. I can still do my schoolwork, have time to make these videos and whatnot, and it'll be good. I'm happy about that. But yeah, definitely expect the manga reviews. I just have to find that notebook. I'm cleaning out my room... I mean, I am cleaning. I am cleaning my room today, and tomorrow, and next week as well. Since I'm gonna try and sell a lot of my cards and whatnot, so if I find it, yay. If not, I have to go back through uh, volume two and jot down notes again, which I really don't want to do. Anyway, but nothing you're rambling on. I gotta play more Gundam before work starts. I got a couple hours. I'll be good. Hopefully I can get 50,000 GP finally. That's my that's that's one of my complaints with this game, but I'll save that for later. Thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment below with your anime slash manga um, recommendations for me, and I'll see you guys next time.